Hey guys, welcome back to Tony Zatus. In this video, I'll be showing you best settings for OBS Studio. Before we start, hurry up and check out a software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering what is the best mic settings here for OBS Studio. Well, picking the best settings here are actually fairly easy. So the first thing that you want to do here is you want to make sure that your audio is properly set up. Now, from your OBS Studio, let's go ahead and click on settings at the control section here. And from here, you want to go to audio. Now, in here, you want to go to global audio devices and you want to look for the desktop audio here. In this case, you want to set the audio for this one. So, for example, if you want this to set this at your speaker or if you have multiple speakers here, make sure to set this up properly. Now, you could also choose default here, which in this case, it will use the default device for your speaker. Now, also, you want to set your microphone. In this case, I'm using the mic auxiliary audio here, which is the very first one. And from here, I've actually set this to my USB condenser microphone. Now, once you've done that, you can go and click on apply and OK to close the settings. Now, in this case, to improve the quality of our audio here, the first thing that you want to do is you want to add some filters here. So at the bottom left, of your screen here, we have our uh, scenes and sources. And we also have audio mixer. Now, in this case, since we want to edit our, uh, in this case, our audio, we want to edit our audio mixer. Now we have two audio. We have our desktop audio as well as our mic. Now, our desktop audio would contain, from the name itself, the audio of our desktop. The mic here will be the audio of our microphone. Now, you want to play around the mixer here, which in this case, you have the option to adjust the volume of your audio. Like for example, if I actually turn down my desktop audio here at the very left here, it's actually going to mute my desktop audio. Now, if you want to do that, you could go ahead and do that. But in this case, the total use or the actual use of this one is to basically mix properly your audio. So for example, if you're talking really loud, you might want to consider toning down your mic here. As you can see, since I'm turning it down, it's actually changing the actual volume of my voice. So basically, you have the option to adjust it a few things. Now, you also have three colors here, which in this case, green is a good, uh, good volume, orange is nearing to very loud, and if you get or reach to the red option here, it's actually indicating that, hey, your audio is too loud, you might want to consider turning it down. Now, in this case, just play around with this one. So, another thing you could do here is you could add filters. So, at the left side, you want to click on the tree dotted icon to the audio that you want to add some filters to. And from here, you want to go ahead and go oh, and choose filters. Now, there are a few filters that we want to add. So first is we want to add a compressor uh, filter. Now at the bottom left, you want to click on the plus button here. And from here, you want to choose compressor. Now from here, you can add the uh, specific filter that you want to, uh, the, in this case, the name of the filter itself. Go ahead and click on OK here. And you want to set the following. So first, the ratio is going to be around 4 by one so let's go ahead and turn it down so four by one is good next is going to be the threshold or in this case the threshold that we see here so by default it's going to be negative 18 db but in this case i would suggest you to set this to max now in this case setting your threshold here can actually depend on your need so threshold is going to be the total volume of volume that you could actually use on your audio which in this case, you could adjust this. Like for example, if you want to minimize this or expand it further, you could go ahead and do that. So basically just play play around with this setting here or this filter until you get the right uh, effect or uh, audio uh, quality you want. Now, in this case, the next thing you want to do is you want to change the attack. So you want to set this to 2ms. So in this case, you could do this, uh, use the slide or use the uh, arrows here. Now, release is going to be around 100. So you could go ahead and increase this one to get 100. By the way, if you can't get it properly, you could type in the actual number. Now, output gain, you want to set this to zero. But then again, depending on your device or your audio quality, so just play around this one. So either threshold or output gain, you can go ahead and adjust it accordingly to what you want. So for example, if you're talking really, uh, really softly and you, uh, in this case, your or your, your mic is too 
uh, low, the volume is too low, you could use the output gain here. So yeah, so in this case, you could go and click on the option here. Uh, and from here, we want to add another filter, which in this case is going to be limiter. Let's go and click on the plus button here. We want to choose limiter. And from here, add the name for your filter. Click on OK. Now, from here, for the limiter, we want to set this at negative 3 or negative 3 dB here. But again, this might actually depends on what you need. So if, for example, if you're talking too loud, you want to maybe adjust a few things. Or if you're ta uh, talking too loud, you might want to adjust a few things there and basically suit it better. So again, you might want to decrease this if you're talking too loud. But yeah. So another thing that we could add here is going to be noise gain. Now click on the plus button here again and you want to choose the option for noise gate. Noise gate is a great way for you to basically filter out the noise. So basically this is the noise limiter. So in this case if you have like a lot of so a lot of things happening in your background, this is this will actually decrease the uh, noise that you will get. So in this case uh, both the closed threshold and open threshold here actually depends on what you need. So I would I recommend you to basically play around the settings here until you get the proper setting itself. Because again, it actually depends on your location. But if your location is not that fairly noisy, then you may or you can actually emit the noise gate option here. So in this case, you go and click on close here to apply your filters. And from then on, you could go and just start recording whatever. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.